Secure the core tube of the feeder cable to the transition compartment. Determine the length of transport tube that will be needed to protect the ribbon from the core tube to the transition compartment. Mark and cut the transition tube to length. Clean the end of the transition tube with alcohol. Apply blue felt tape around the end of the transition tube that you will be securing to the transition compartment. Slide a transition tube over the branch cable's core tube to route ribbons from the upper cable port. Secure the transition tube to the transition compartment. Determine the length of transition tube required to route the ribbon in the transition compartment to the splice tray. Mark and cut the transition tube to length. Clean the end of the transition tube with alcohol. Apply blue felt tape around the end of the transition tube. Store the slack ribbon that will not be routed to a splice tray in the transition compartment. Slide the prepared transition tube over the ribbon you will be guiding to the splice tray. Secure it to the transition compartment. Repeat the process for the ribbon exiting the opposite side of the transition compartment. Clean the ends of the transition tubes with alcohol prior to applying the light grip retention sleeves. Insert the light grip retention sleeves into the outer slots of the splice tray. Route the fiber around the splice tray. Adhere to the routing guideline displayed on the screen. Splice incoming ribbons to outgoing ribbons per your accepted company practice. Install the cover onto the splice tray. Lift and turn the splice tray to guide it onto the organizer posts. Secure the splice tray with the hold down strap.